Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, maybe more than one video for this session. Okay, let's uh, just check out what we have to do. Quest. Contract more severe radiation sickness, 600 rads. Let's go out and get some the radiation field research poison. Going? Should be pretty easy seeing some place that was full of radiation the while ago. Just stand up in there for like ever and get 600 rats. Maybe we'll survive that. Maybe we'll get a mutation. We get Nessic. Hopefully we get some kind of ability like an arm out of our stomach. That'd be cool. Okay. Megaton. There we Worshipping that uh, bomb over there that's not going to explode because of me as I saved this whole freaking village, this town, from getting exploded and getting nuked off the planet. First time I did blow it up though. My bad. Took one chem so far. Not really a drug addict. We only tried it once. Chems are basically drugs. Let's find some radiation. Maybe this is radiation right here. There's some let's talk to this guy. Ah, fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome, all of which can be yours. For the right price. Okay, I'm here to buy stuff. Please enjoy my selection of high quality problem solvers. Let's sell some of our stuff. One of these. One of these. Bow cat mine, we don't need that. Laser pistol. This police baton. Cell. One of our outfits. Tunnel snake outfit, no. Let's sell that. Sell that. Sell one of these. And we got 16 caps back from it. Give okay, see the go. world's dangerous and unbalanced place. So, with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons, I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free, but I come close. Okay. I have to go now. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, alright? Okay, let's find some radiation. Got some stim packs. This should be radiation right here. Just wait until we get 600 rads or whatever. It's gonna take a while. One rad per second, so we gotta wait like 600 seconds. I think there's probably some more right radiation that we could go to. Yeah, let's just go back to that and just wait. And I'll come back when we got 600 rides. Any second now, we'll get probably 200 rads. Let's check that out. Just had to fix the settings for a second. Hopefully, it's better now. No frame drops. 
I hate those frame drops. So, one rad per second is probably the lowest, slowest method you could do. Probably won't even do the 600 rads, who knows. But yeah, 600 seconds and we'll get this done. It's going to take a bit. Anyway, what kind of TV shows do you guys watch? Leave it in the comments. Maybe I'll check one out. Tell me what TV show you're currently watching. Maybe an old one, new one, retro TV show from who knows when. Just let me know. I'd love to watch whatever you guys watch. And check it out at least. Maybe watch episode or two. I'm not promising that I will watch the whole series, but uh, probably one episode. Maybe I'll watch more if I like it. Who knows? Well, let me know in the comments. And we don't have radiation sickness yet, it's gonna take a while. So I'll be back when we get 600 rides, probably. I think I just fixed the settings. First part of the video is probably dropping frames but I think I fixed it. Okay, we now have six, 200 radiation so the main thing is done but we still need 600 rads for the optional fire quest. Yeah don't know what TV show I should watch. Let me know what TV show I should watch. Do you guys have any recommendations for me? What's your go-to TV show that you watch when you're bored or whatever? Or you watch over and over again? It never gets boring. I usually just watch like anime. Like uh, One Piece, Naruto, Shippuden, and Nar Naruto. Don't really like Boruto. Not, not in interested in that manga and anime. But yeah, I really like One Piece, stuff like that, fighting anime. So those recommendations would be number one priority. But I like normal shows too. Don't really watch a lot of normal shows. Mostly watches like Raw, Smackdown, AEW, Dynamite. Shows like that. Used to watch like TNA Impact and stuff like that, AJ Styles. It's currently in WWE now, doing really good. It's good to see. Undertaker tired this year, that's cool. And any second now, probably 204 more seconds, we'll get a 600 rad poisoning. That would be excellent. We're already outside Megaton. Probably could have found, found a better place, but we're just doing it here. Okay guys, we're at uh, 500 rads, we just need 600, so in about probably like 2 minutes, a little less than that, we get it, there's some guy up there, who's that, I've never seen this guy up here before, Stockholm, when you talk to him, Let's see what he'll say, have you guys ever noticed this guy up here, because I haven't. I don't know what's this guy to stand up here. Can we even go up there and talk to him? Can we kill him? I'm just uh, shooting. No, I'm just kidding. And there's a caravan over there, a robot guy. Any second now, we'll get 600 rides. And we'll be able to leave this little radiation pit. Any second now, we can get those rides. There's birds up in the sky. Yeah, like uh, any fighting shown jump anime. That's what I prefer. I like other anime too, but mainly watch those for some reason. Not sure why. Got a. Uh, 
But really like uh, One Piece though. It's like the best anime manga you can read, watch. Monkey D. Luffy is main character. Then the voice captain is Rono Zora Zoro. Known as Zolo in America because of the copyright. Pretty sure Zoro is copyrighted by someone else. A Zoro movie maybe. It kinda sucks. It's kinda weird to see his name is Zolo. In the manga is named Zolo, but in the anime is Zoro. Had to change it for copyright reasons. It sucks, but uh yeah. He's the one with green hair. Monkey D. Luffy is the guy with a uh, straw hat. Sanji, he's got yellow hair, blonde hair, not yellow. Then there's Nami, Nico Robin, Usopp, Frankie, Brooke, Jinbi, Jinbei. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's Chopper, that little reindeer, talking reindeer. Really good manga, like 930 chapters. I need to read the latest one after this recording. It's something that I need to do. Check Raz re real quick. 554, so in like uh, 50, like half a minute maybe, or a minute, we should hit 600 Raz. Go back to Moria Brown, talk to her. She wants us to get to really stick for her studies. It's kind of messed up. I don't think they designed the quest to just stand here like for 600 seconds. But that's what we're doing. We just found radiation spot right outside and we're just standing here for like 600 seconds waiting to get rad poisoning. So this would be higher rad poisoning than we already got. We only got monitor right now. Yeah. You guys can join my Discord. You guys can ask for my Discord if you ever want. Don't have that many people in there, but always welcome to have another few people or more. So yeah, let's talk to this guy here. Stockholm. I was sniper rifle probably up here. We got a haunting rifle and a sniper rifle. Guess they can't afford the sniper rifle. It's too rare, but I got a sniper rifle. Let's take it out. Let's aim at him real quick. We can repair it later. I got must have uh, had a shitty sniper rifle. There he is up there. We got it. We got 600 rads. Let's go talk to Moria. Moria Brown. Yeah, the frames are fixed now. There's that robot that could be well. Yeah, I'll join my stay at the Megaton Tanks Weld. The robot. Okay, now we've talked more around, but let's check out this guy that was standing up on top of the gate. See if we can talk to him somehow. Or he's. How do we even get up there? Can we get up there? Talk to him? Not sure how to get up there. I don't think we can. Yeah, we probably can't get up there. Hey! I don't think we could get up there to talk to Stockholm, but uh, maybe there is a way. Leave a comment if you can talk to that guy. Because I have no idea. Okay, let's walk up here and go to Maury Brown. So she can fix us and get the research that she needs. Need to wait. It's 8 p.m. It's late, they're closed. We need to wait a little bit longer because it's the middle of night now. Just need to wait a little bit longer. 
8 a.m. is probably good. Let's lock in the little sniper rifle. I don't mind if I got a weapon equipped, ready to kill anyone. Okay, let's talk to Moy Brown. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, you poor dear, putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry, it'll all be better, and it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes. And I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Yeah, that'll fix us. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Moria's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Cool. You can suffer more radiation now. Yep, it's looking like it'll be a real tough book for real tough guys. And real tough gals too, of course. Here, for your services. I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. The, start, the, the second chapter. chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mire lurks are a big threat in some areas. And knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Great, I'll try. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Okay, next video will be going to check out some Meyer lurks. Then, then this video, please subscribe, like, comment. Comment about what I asked you to comment, maybe. If you don't know what comment. And see you later. This is Patrick for Blue Old Kill Out. See you guys Welcome in the next video.